Hi, and welcome to the Weekend Entertainment Roundup from the Ann Arbor News. I'm Jordan Miller. And I'm Roger Lelever. Before we tell you about this weekend's events, let me remind you that complete listings can be found in print in Thursday's Spotlight Magazine, on the happenings pages in the Daily Newspaper, and online at MLive.com slash Ann Arbor News. So Roger, Folk Festival. Folk Festival, it's what's going on this weekend. It's probably the big premier event for the uh, folk acoustic, uh, and really, and more community. Uh, it's Friday and Saturday night, and the thing about the Folk Festival to remember is, one, it's sold out. So if you didn't get your tickets, you're out of luck. Um, but but it, we'll tell you about it anyway, we'll you so it you anyway. can be jealous. <laughs> and and it's, it's good to know that the Folk Festival supplies 10% of the ARCS budget, so it's really important. It's a real big deal to keep the ARCS stores open every year. So Friday night, uh, it's more of a uh, pushing the envelope kind of lineup that the ARCS become known for uh, t for this event. Uh, Ben Folds, Toad the Wet Sprocket, uh, Brian Vander Ark is going to be there and more. And on Saturday, that's the more traditional night, we have Emmylou Harris, oh, Sean cool. Colvin, Patty Griffin, uh, Glenn Phillips from Toad the Wet Sprocket doing a solo show. Jill Jack, uh, it's going to be a great time. I'll be there. Uh, I'll be blogging both Friday and Saturday night after the festival. So check Ooh. the Encore blog at MLive. Uh, Plug. Uh, yes, uh, make sure you get that plug from <laughs> live.com slash News, and we're inviting your comments to uh, my comments, so please feel free to blog with us. What else do we have? Well, if you're not into the Folk Festival, which kind of not. How could you not? Uh, yeah. How could you not? Um, Friday night, there is a party at the Black Elks Lodge. These have been going on for a while. I love them. I always look forward to them. This one's going to be super awesome because my favorite local DJ, uh, Selector Josh D, is going to be there. Um, he's just... he's the best and then you've also got local legend dyke house yeah. uh, my friend noah Carant. it's going to be really really cool uh it's at the black elks lodge over on sunset so not a venue that most mm -hmm. people think of as a venue but it is a super cool party um sometimes there's a cover if it is it all goes to charity and i think mm -hmm. to help the elks lodge raise money that kind of thing um saturday night really cool one of my favorite local bands orpheum bell mm -hmm. which if you haven't seen orpheum bell uh, if you know Blanche, sort of like country-inspired, mm -hmm. alt-country rock, they're awesome. They've got a, a really cool accordion player. The lead singer kind of sounds like this growling Tom Waits. It's mm -hmm. just, it's great. And they dress in these great outfits. No, that, that's Blanche. That is Blanche. <laughs> but, um, I, well, I, Orpheum Bell, they, they do it up. So mm -hmm. it's not quite Blanche. They don't have Tracy Lee. Ah. But uh, Dreamland Theater, that's uh, 8 o'clock on Saturday night. The cover for that is $6. Um, let's talk about movies. All right. We got some good ones. Rambo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what decade is this anyway? I know. I shouldn't. I should just shut my mouth on the movies because I just hate <laughs> all of them. Um, but he he plays a uh, disoriented Vietnam vet, surprise. and of course it's Sylvester Stallone. And and what more do you need to know about that? I I am really more interested in. Uh, uh, the there will be blood. Yes, it's yeah. gotten eight Academy Award nominations, and uh, it's got Daniel Day Lewis. It's going to be a great movie. Yeah, and I think actually that one, I'm I'm going to make it on opening weekend to see mm -hmm. a movie because I'm just so behind. It's about the early days of the oil industry. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Um, also opening this weekend, Untraceable. I know last week I talked about a waste of uh, Diane Keaton. This is a waste of Diane Lane. So mm -hmm. there you go. If you saw that movie, The Net. Probably you saw it on television mm -hmm. when you were sick at some point when it ran on reruns with Sandra Bullock. It basically looks like the same movie, just more updated. Uh, don't go see it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I've got to say about movies. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. And a reminder that you can check out the entertainment listings in the uh, oh. Thursday Spotlight magazine. Uh, on the Daily Happenings pages and online at mlive.com slash Ann Arbor News. For the Ann Arbor News, I'm Roger Lelever. Have fun. And I'm Jordan Miller.